So the next step is to bind your transmitter and receiver. Power the drone. You'll notice the white and red LEDs are flashing on and off. And we're going to press the bind button, which is just inside the drone. As you can probably see. Just there. So we're going to press that and then the lights will go solid. There we go. The lights are now solid, so we can go to our transmitter, we can hit the bind key, select that, doesn't really matter. It's now beeping away. The lights are now flashing again, so we are bound. Got beta flight up and running. Oh my god! I've never noticed that. That's got night rider lights. <laughs> That's amazing. Anyway, so we're going to go down to the receiver page. I'm going to make sure that the channels are set up correctly. So we're going to do roll, correct, pitch, correct, yaw, correct, and throttle, correct. Do the aux switches. So we're going to arm on aux one. This will be the mode switch on aux two. And then we'll have a buzzer and crash flip on aux three. So that will be the next step to go and set all of that up. We're going to go into the modes tab. Arm is pre-configured. That's a nice touch. On to AUX1, just in case you haven't got beta flight. Angle, not where I'd normally put it, so I'll just move that over. We'll add horizon in. If you flick the switch, it'll auto-assign. Lovely little uh, feature they've added. Save that, and then we'll go down. What else do we want to add? We want a buzzer, or beeper as they refer to it. Flick that, aux three, over, over to the end. Air mode is enabled, but we'd also like it to be in horizon if you're that way inclined. So we'll save that. Flip over after crash, already on AUX3, which is where I like it. So then it's just, we'll have a look on the ports page. So we've got a spare UART, that's nice as well, isn't it? Got TBS Smart Audio pre-configured onto the config page. Motor direction reversed. We'll check that. Yes, motors are reversed. D shot 600. We'll turn that rubbish off. Motor stop. No, thank you. All. Accelerometer 8k, 2k. Now, this is an F4 board, so that should be able to go higher than that. 4k, 8k. Oh, we'll try 8k, 8k. We'll see what that does first. Ah, here we go. Well, the Mr. Trick there. If I remember rightly, the Mobula 7 had this one pre-configured. That's not going to allow you to arm if you're upside down, is it? 180 degrees. Lovely. Trash can. Ridiculous name. LED strip on. <laughs> Interesting. First time I've ever seen that. Save and reboot. The next thing, power and battery, never set this up right. Although, ah, okay, the learning. Telemetry they lost, telemetry recovered. Seem like the correct settings. We'll give it a fly and see what it's like. Although I'd probably put that up to 4.4 as you're going to charge to 4.35 volts. That'll come out as a, a two cell battery that's empty. We don't want that, do telemetry we? Telemetry lost, telemetry recovered. Telemetry lost. Telemetry yeah, recovered. okay, Amber. It's all right. Telemetry lost. Telemetry recovered. I know why that is. If you have the uh, transmit and the receiver 
within one meter of each other, potentially it's going to do that. Seems okay. No, oh, no. It's definitely doing that quite often. We'll just move that over there for the time being. So I'm going to leave all that all well alone. They've already pre-configured some rates that aren't standard. As you can see there. Leave them alone. See what they feel like. Finally, OSD. What have they done here? We've got... Oh, yeah, we've got quite a lot of rubbish enabled. Crosshairs. Pet peeve. Horrible. No one wants that. Flight mode. Unnecessary. Trash can. I don't think so. Throttle position. No way. Current draw. No thank you. Milliamp hours. Not interested. <sighs> if it does that, just have to go off it and back on it again. And do exactly what you've just done previously. Oh no. Nice one. It saved it. So, we'll save that before it disappears off. We'll have an alarm at three minutes. And it's just a case of moving things to where you prefer them to be. Myself, I'll have the voltage in the middle, the RSSI in the top right corner. We'll also have, if you fly with people regularly, Having the VTX channel turned on is pretty useful. I'll have to keep that up in the top right corner. Top left corner. We'll move the flight time into the bottom right corner. Oh. Now in theory, we should be good to go. Still waiting on batteries at the moment. 